CataractCoach.com, a cataract and severe fuchs dystrophy using a staged DMEC approach with a corneal specialist. Now look at this patient here. Look at the endothelium. Look at all those spots, all those little black dots. That's endothelial dropout. Extensive, especially there centrally. And there is some baseline level of mild corneal edema there because those cells are just not able to pump out the fluid from the cornea. Now, pachymetry here is 666 microns. You know, normal pachymetry, we want it less than 600 microns. If it's 600 to 640, it's probably the gray area. And 640 or above, you're probably better off doing a combined cataract and DMIC procedure at the same sitting for a fused dystrophy, right? Well, this patient didn't want that. The patient had done some Google homework, and as you know, that makes the patient an absolute expert. Google homework, of course, right? And the patient said, well, I just want to do a cataract surgery alone. And then let me see what I get. And then if we need to, we can do a DMEC. And you know what? To be frank, that's a reasonable approach, too. So here in this situation, we're going to do just the cataract surgery. Now, when we do the cataract surgery, a couple things to keep in mind. We're going to make a rex that's going to securely hold the eye well. So even if there's a gas bubble in the eye for the DMEC procedure, that it's going to keep the eye well very firmly planted in there. So don't make an overly large rexus. Let's say for about a 5 millimeter rexus. Now, the second thing here is, what kind of lens? Well, I think you know, we want a monofocal lens. Right? When you have a cornea that's compromised, a monofocal lens is probably going to be your best option here. Now, you can see a little tough time grabbing that uh, capsule because these forceps have been bent by the scrap tech. But I'm going to show you real life here. we got to grab a few times. Now we finally get it. And we'll have to send these forceps out to be fixed and realigned. Now, a monofocal lens, what do you choose as your post-op target? Now, the patient's been essentially emotropic or plano for the entirety of life. So do you choose that still? Yes, but with a slight adjustment. In a case like this, because you may have a little bit of a hyperopic shift with placement of the DMEC graft, it probably would behoove you to leave the patient just a tiny bit myopic. Let's say minus 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 diopters. I think that'll be good. If the patient was, his or her whole life was, let's say, minus a quarter, close to amotropia, then maybe I'd leave the patient minus a half. If you know, the patient the, for the entirety of life was kind of more like plus quarter, maybe the patient like minus 0.3. But look at your calcs and see what comes close. Now, here's the nucleus there, and you're saying, well, what are you, why are you bringing it out of the bag? And the endothelium, well, we're, we know we're going to do a stage procedure here. About three months after this cataract surgery, the patient ended up getting a DMEC endothelial transplantation. So you can see the cataract's not too dense. We just chop it in half, emulsifying it, bevel down, using phaco power modulations, minimizing the total amount of phaco energy we're putting inside the eye. We obviously use a good dispersive viscoelastic to protect the cornea for whatever's left of those, pu those, those poor cells. And now just taking the cataract out here. Now certainly we want to get that nice single piece acrylic lens, monofocal lens, of course, in the capsule bag. And then we'll send the patient off to our corneal expert. In fact, the corneal expert is the one who sent the patient to me for cataract surgery. So it's okay to use a team approach here. And I, in fact, I like that. And in patients in my neck of the woods, in the fancy part of Los Angeles, they sometimes want to do multiple different specialists. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, the website? You see me saying it every time on these videos, you never go there. But it has a free PDF book about learning cataract surgery. There's the free curriculum series. Follow me on social media and definitely check out that podcast. Now, getting back here, taking out the cortex, cleaning up that capsule bag. Definitely want to clean up the bag as much as you can. Maybe a little capsule polishing, get that eye oil in there. And again, we're going to measure at the end here, make sure we have a nice five millimeter rexus to overlap that optic. And so the coronal surgeons that I work with tend to use some sort of specialized gas in the post-op period to help maintain the um, gas bubble in the eye and hold the graft in place. And they're usually using like 16% SF6. But here we go, capsule polishing. Look at that capsule polisher. Cleaning up the underserve that anterior capsule rim. This is not super critical, but it's nice to get it done. And we'll do that very nicely all around and then get our lens in. And again, for our lens, we are aiming for just a little bit of post-op myopia. I think that's going to be a good choice for this patient who's going to end up emotropic. Now, when it's time to do the graft here, yeah, usually we wait a couple of months. Usually three months is a pretty good estimate. And then go back to the cornea specialist and have that DMIC graft done. 
And then um, we have definitely showed you DMEC videos here on Cataract Coach that even I've learned how to do DMEC. It's not that big of a deal. But you know what? If I send the page to a cornea specialist who does a couple hundred DMECs a year, it's probably going to be a little bit slicker than someone who, let's say, does a dozen DMEC a year, right? And so that's what we're doing. We're looking out for our patient here. So taking on that viscoelastic. Now look at that endothelium still. Wow. Now with the red reflex, you can really see there's just so much drop out of those endothelial cells. All the little pepper spots, the little black spots there. Look at that. Let's seal up the incision here. And again, you can see so much endothelial drop out here. Now on post-op day one, the patient had a little bit of coronal edema. Over the course of a month, it resolved to kind of the patient's baseline. And the patient achieved only about 2040 best corrected vision after this cataract surgery. And then with the DMEC procedure, the patient ended up bang on plano out in 2020. And remember, check out our cataractcoach.com website and follow me on social media. So much good stuff and so much to learn.